of being essential and non-essential due to COVID-19. <clears throat> what they are referring to are businesses and jobs we do as citizens that are important to keep our society healthy and running. An example of being essential right now would be healthcare workers. Uh, thanks to them, people are being taken care of and are recovering uh, from this horrible virus. Another example is anyone who works in the food industry, whether it be grocery store, restaurants, or truck drivers, uh, they are keeping us in supply of food and other lively things uh, we need on a day-to-day -day basis. However, <clears throat> I feel that this could also relate to our lives as individuals. In our world today, I believe people question uh, whether their lives are essential or non-essential, and I am here to tell you uh, that you are essential. God created you in his image. You are God's highest creation. Um, first Acts 17.26 And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings. Genesis 127. So God created man in his image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So that means that every person on this earth is essential to God. It is easy in these times to get down and feel like you are not needed or not, as, not essential. But you are always essential. Um... 1 John 4.10 and this, and this is love that we love God not that we love God but that he loved us and sent his son to be our propitiation for our sins. That is how much we mean to God. He loved us so much that he sent his only son to die so that we could have life. Um, now I'm going to read uh, in the First Corinthians. First uh, Corinthians chapter uh, twelve, verse twelve. Um, it goes, "The body is a unit, though it is made up of many parts, <clears throat> and though all its parts are many, the fo they form one body. So it is with Christ, for we for we were all baptized by one Spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free." And we were all given the one spirit to drink. It goes on to uh, through, uh, 14 through uh, 26. It talks about you know not not one body part is better than the other. You know with you know the ear. How would if you didn't have ears, could you hear? If you didn't have eyes, you know you couldn't see. Legs and feet you couldn't walk. Um, so it's it's basically saying that uh, God created the, the body as a perfect unity. You need all parts to work. Um, verse 27, now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is part of it. <clears throat> so basically, just like your body has different members to it to make one body, we are all different members of one body, which is the church, which is Christ. We all have um, our own special talents. We all are special in God's eyes. We all mean something to him. Um, so basically, just remember that no matter what you do in life, you do have a purpose. You are essential because God made you and me. And... Uh, made us so we can have companionship with him 
he wanted something, somebody to choose him so he can have a everlasting relationship. So that being said, you know, God said you are special, and that's the bottom line, because God said so. Let's pray out. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I thank you for another wonderful day, Lord. This weekend has been um, perfect, Father. It's, uh, we've been able to get out around the house and do things, even though we can't get out and go to parks and stuff, Father. We can still get out around our yards and play and, and goof off and just enjoy your presence, Father. And I just ask that... Um, anybody who doesn't know you, Father, that uh, you would t uh, touch them, Father, and anybody who's sick and hurting right now, that they could feel your presence, Father God, and I thank you for the many, many blessings you have given, and precious holy name, Jesus, amen. Uh -huh.